Brian Dulesky with Able Distributors. Today we wanted to talk about the NTI TRX Combi. What's a Combi? It's a boiler for heating and basically a tankless water heater for your domestic hot water needs. And this is going to be a little different and it's going to need a couple different things for the package. So obviously here you've got your return side for the heating, supply going out to the heating, your cold water in and your hot water out for your domestic hot water. So as that detects flow, it's going to fire up. Comes in two sizes, 150, 199. So those are the C, 150C, 199C. They put out respectively 3.5 gallons a minute for the 150C, 4.8 gallons per minute for the 199C. So double check your load. If you don't know your load, ask us, we can help you calculate out whether these are gonna be enough water for you or not. But as you go through the guide, what you're gonna see first is we're gonna suggest some valves. So these isolation valves allow you to flush the domestic side, the, the public water side of that little flat plate heat exchanger in there. So this allows you to hook up the hoses and the pump, flush it and valve it off. So uh, the next thing you're gonna see on the, the guide is a combo fill backflow preventer for the boiler. And of course, this won't work without the boiler being full. Um, the next would be what we affectionately call the docking center or a hydro node. And this is basically mount this to the wall, hang your expansion tank here. You've got an air bleeder. You've got a spot for a little pressure gauge. You've got your incoming water. So your reducing valve would be up here. And then this would take it to the, to the boiler system. And this is just a real nice place to hang your expansion tank. Speaking of expansion tanks, since this is hooked up to the domestic hot water, we have, yes, this is actually an expansion tank. It's called the ZEP-1, Z-E-P-1. And this is for an ex expansion tank for the domestic side. Now, a lot of guys say, well, you really don't need it because you're not storing a lot of water, like a 40 gallon water heater. My, I, my thought is this, once you close the valve, once you fill the, the hot water pipes in your house, you run in your shower or whatever, and you close that off, now you've just closed the system. It's gonna have a little area to expand, just the right size. With the heating side of the TRX, this is a perfect time to use a hydro air separator. This has got a magnet, a spot for a temperature pressure gauge, an air separator. You would put this hot water in, goes out to the system, you return. This, the pump that's built in the TRX can go perfectly for this. I mean, it's honestly, it, it's a no-brainer there. Um, and of course, with every single boiler is a commissioning kit, we always suggest. And that's the F3 cleaner. And what I would do with this is inject this in before you take out the old boiler. Whether it's an hour ahead of time, it'll be better than doing nothing or just using water. Or if you can get it in a day ahead of time, let it run throughout the night. It'll actually do a better job. And then once you get that out and you rinse the system clean, you're getting clean water coming out of it, put in the F1. These both come in the kit. We have them in the Express, which you can spray in through a drain um, opening, or we have it liquid if you want to pour it in. So we're, we still offer the IntiClean, which is a magnet cleaner, strainer. We still offer... Um, all the fittings, PVC, gas fittings, these are three quarter uh, inch gas connections. So all of that stuff you'll find in the guide. If you have any questions, every single person here at ABLE is here to help. Brian Dulesky, thank you.